you doing, Brad? Well, I'm out here in the yard, and I'm sharpening my uh, zombie killer. You know, uh, Halloween's coming up, and, and the zombies, uh, you know, it's a really nice day, but... They're, they're around, okay? So anyway, we got us a zombie killer here. And uh, so we sharpened it up a little bit for Halloween. And this is what it would look like. You just take it like this, take the sharpened spark, match the bevel, slide it from the hilt out towards the point, come right on around the radius, drop it right off the point, work on the radius, flip it over, go out and back, out and back, just like that. Now we're going just out. Now let's turn it over like this. Match the bevel about 12 degrees. So the bevel on the blade, 12 degrees, would be about like that, right? Probably about right there. I don't like my knives uh, under or over. I try to aim for about 12 degrees. Of course, I, it's not perfect, but if you aim for 20 degrees, you won't hit 12 degrees. If you aim for 12 degrees, you won't hit 20 degrees, okay? So we're gonna keep it, uh, try to keep it at about 12 degrees. It's kind of a thick knife. It's actually kind of a thick blade. So let's see, I'm not positive how sharp I'm gonna make this knife, but we do have the paper ready. And we've got our zombie killer here. There's, there's a lot of people out now, they have, they do have their zombie knives, but they, they're having problems finding the zombie knife sharpener. Yeah, okay, so anyway, sharpensbest.com is a good, good place to go. Halloween's coming up, and uh, you know, the big zombie craze. So anyway, let's look and see what we got here for sharp. Oh, that's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Okay, and there also is a, what they, what uh, was actually made and designed originally as a gut hook uh, for skinning and gutting uh, deer, antelope, antelope, you know, moose, stuff like that. And once you go up the, the belly uh, a little ways and you take this, turn it around, and go right on up. Um, I, I would round that hook off if I was going to do that, though, because that would make it a little bit hard to actually use the way it's supposed to be used. What, what is the importance? Why should one keep their zombie knife sharp? Well, you got to keep it sharp because you know what? You might have to go through a lot of zombies. There might be a lot of other stuff that you got to do. If you're going to pack it around with you, you ought to have a sharp knife. If you got a knife, it ought to be sharp. So you know what? Halloween's coming up. you got to watch for them. This is Brad. You take care and have a good day. One sec, man. A lot of long zombie knives aren't as simple as that. A lot of people have some goofy, crazy zombie knives. What if you have one of those? Well, then it doesn't make any difference. I still sharpen it. And uh, if you got uh, goofy, I guess we actually have some here. All right. And so you have ones uh, like exactly. this. And uh, that's kind of a throwing knife. And, um, yep, that's a goofy knife right there. So let's see. Uh, this one here has the plastic off of it. All right, so what I see here is you've got these fins like arrows uh, sticking out there. They're ground a little bit here, about three-eighths of an inch on the top, three-eighths of an inch on the top, and then this whole part right here. And so what we're going to do is just come right down through here on this one. I don't I only have to go about a half an inch. So I start back here towards the hilt, work forwards. There's only about a half an inch of it that's sharpened, so I'm just going to use the wrist and the method here as if it were a serrated edge blade and then go right on out to the next part a knife like this could take you five six seven minutes to sharpen the first time you sharpen it because like i've said before it is pretty thick so we're just going to run along like this on that one and this on that one and then all the way out like this and then tip it up and come back this way out that way Turn it over. And turn it over again. And then we just touch it light. Pass through it along like that. Come back this way. All right, let's see how this thing cuts paper. That's not too bad. It would take a little bit more. Actually, it bites pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. It sticks right on the thumbnail. I'd pop a zombie eye out. That take Okay, I'm going to hold still. You come right up here close. There's the fingernail that just came off. So if you need to go after your zombies, pick a zombie killer. Go to my website, sharpensbest.com. Buy them off the website. This spread. Hold on.
What? They deserve. They, these are people who are out there saving our butts. They deserve a special deal. Okay, they're going to get a special deal. Let's say uh, if you order these within the next... Anything from our website. Okay, if you order anything from our website over the next uh, 10 days... Let's say, let's say, let's give them a week after Halloween. Week up until the week after Halloween. All right. Uh, we're going to throw in... Let's uh, do 10%, anything. Save uh, money. 10%. Okay. If you're going to go 10% uh, down in the um, contacts down below, uh, mention... Uh, <laughs> um, spooky! Spooky? Okay. Just mention spooky in the comments down below. You get 10% off. In the checkout window. In the checkout window. Nice. Thanks.